Do you want to draw like this, this, and this, but your drawings look like this, this, and this, and you don't know what to do, who to ask, and how to approach this humongous thing called art and drawing, but you just have this vision and this goal of having to draw this cool, cool characters and worlds and stories, and you don't know how. Trust me, man, I know how it feels, because I've been there. So here are five simple, easy, practical habits that you can apply to improve your art and go from this to this. So yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Number one, get a sketchbook. Yeah, see this? This is called a sketchbook. Highly recommend that you get one. Trust me, for most of my life, I've never maintained my sketchbooks. I've actually never maintained a sketchbook, but I recently, not recently, couple of years back, started maintaining sketchbooks and holy mother of sweet baby Jesus, it improved my heart. Trust me, get a sketchbook, fill one up every single month. Yes, that's your basic requirement if you're a beginner artist. You need to fill a sketchbook, one sketchbook every single month. 30 to 100 page sketchbooks, anything that works for you. Just fill one up. If you don't know what to draw, it's simple. Just draw something. I don't care, draw a tree or a flying pig or a flying banana. Just draw something, but fill one up every single month. The act of drawing will actually get you more ideas and motivation to draw more. So just focus on drawing. The rest of the things will take care of itself. Also, if you cannot fill one book a month, just fill one page a day. That's what I do these days. I just sit down, fill one page a day. Speaking of filling one page a day, number two, draw every day. So one of the best things I did for my art and drawing is to actually draw every single day, or at least most days if you cannot do every single day. The thing is, it's one of the most foundation habits of drawing because all the biggest artists I look up to that I admire, all the cartoonists, all the illustrators, all the greatest of the greats, everyone drew every single day, or at least most days. You know, if you cannot do every single day, just draw most days, that's enough like five to six or seven days a week that's all you need you don't need to if you miss a day who cares who cares seriously who cares you don't need a streak you just need to be consistent drawing every day or most days or if you're a busy guy who just wants to just you know take up drawing as a hobby but you want to get good at it take up the six minute sketch challenge take up your phone set up a timer for six minutes and draw in your sketchbook for six minutes once the six minutes is done you can just say to stop drawing or continue drawing for more time on the days that you feel like it you can draw for more than six minutes on the days that you don't you just draw for six minutes it's it's as simple as that man like you know if you feel like it draw more if you don't draw less just for six minutes numero uno number three i think uno means two right yeah i don't know what three is. numero three is to learn the basics of art let's say you want to learn a language first to learn that language you need to learn the alphabets of that language then the grammar then the sentences, then the words, and actually words come before sentences. So then the words, then the sentences, then you take those sentences, you put a paragraph, then you take that paragraph and you form thingies, language. That is how you learn art. You need to learn art by actually learning the alphabets of the art thingy. There are some alphabets. And here are the three things that you all need to focus on. Number one, forms and shapes. Learn the big five shapes. Those are the spear, the cuboid, the cylinder, the cone, and the pyramid. Everything that you see, all the drawings, all the things that surround you that you see, they're all made up of these shapes in one form or the other. All you need to do is just learn to draw these shapes in different perspectives and sizes. Learn to clay them, mold them into different thingies. You can pretty much draw everything. Number two, you just need to learn perspective. Just learn to draw these shapes in different perspective. Number three, gesture. Gesture actually breathes life into your art. You need to breathe life into your art, some movement. So gesture is what you need to focus on. So forms and shape, perspective and gesture. All oh, these are the three things that you need, man. These are the three things that you need to actually learn the basics of art. There are more things, by the way, but Hey, you just focus on the big stuff, the small stuff comes later, all right? Number four, study or copy other artists. Hey, most people tell me like, oh man, dude, I don't know what to draw, like in my sketchbook, or what to draw for my illustrations, like what should I draw? If you don't know what to draw something, it's simple. Just go and do some studies or copies of other artists. And no, it's not wrong to copy other artists. It's only wrong if you copy other artists and pass that work as your own. That is called plagiarism. 
Don't do that. But you can copy from other artists to learn from them because that's what art is true. If you just look at all these master artists from the Renaissance, they all do master studies. They copy the ones who came before them because that is how you learn the basics, the foundations of how things are done. Once you learn how things are done, then you can go about your own way and do the things that you want to do in your own way. It's as simple as that. Like take up your phone, go to some of your favorite artists on Instagram, copy their works, ask yourself, why do they draw like that? What are the specific things that make up their art? Do some hand studies, do some head studies, do some other studies. I don't know if you're weak at something, just study those things. Fill a page of those things in your sketchbook. You know, fill that up and you're good to go, man. You're, that's all you need, man, that's all you need. Number five, learn how to see. This is probably one of the most important things that you can take away from this little piece of video. If you take anything, if you just take this one thing from this video, that's all you need. Learn how to see. Art is not about drawing something, it's about learning how to see. Ed Catmull, the CEO of Pixar, taught me that. He didn't technically teach me like in person, but he, he, I listened to a podcast once and he said then it blew my mind away. Because art is actually about seeing. It's about learning to see things in your life, in the outer world or in other uh, works and artists and you just learn to see those things. Dissect what those things are made of. Understand those things. Understand the philosophy behind it. The, 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 the technique, the story behind it. And you take all those things, you take what's useful for you and you discard the rest and you take those things and you do that with lots of other artists and you form this little package that's your own. Because creativity works like this. Creativity is like an in and out machine. You need to put stuff in inside your head to get stuff out. And you put stuff in by actually consuming things, by living your life, doing something productive or useful, watching TV, watching movies, watching shows, books, films, I don't know, everything. You just consume things and you take those things, you put it inside your processing machine called the head and you just spit it out into the medium that you like, in this case drawing. And that's how artists do, that's how writers do, that's how filmmakers do. They just consume the things around themselves and they take those things and they put them in their own unique voice or style or medium or whatever. That's how art works. So learn how to see and take those things, what you see, put it in your own voice. That's all you need, my friends. Whew, okay, those are the five habits that you need to incorporate to get from a beginner artist to a better beginner artist. Or hey, this works for professionals as well, man. Like, we go from beginner to pro, from fool to cool. So this is how you do it. Okay, I'm not calling all the beginner artists fools. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> This is all you need, man. This is all you need. Just incorporate these five habits into your life and learn to use these things on a regular, consistent basis. You'll be better because these are the five things that I did to actually go from, you know, basically drawing like a piece of crap to, to drawing less like a piece of crap. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope this was useful. Use them. Knowledge is useless if you don't use them. So use them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.